welcome, my name is Natalie. Today I am going to share my top five favorite exercises to do if I am feeling tense in my neck and my shoulders to really release all that tension. So if you are feeling a little bit sore in those areas today as well, come and join me. Let's show our bodies some love and let's get into it. Always remember to listen to your body so if something does not feel right, don't force your body into it and just do what feels right for you today. into a cross-legged position and then we're going to bring the right hand out to the side, fingertips on the floor, so just in line with your hips and then we're going to drop the head to your other opposite side, so to the left side. Now I'm going to move my fingertips just slightly until I feel a stretch down the neck and possibly all the way down the arm and when I find that point I'm just going to hold it there and wait for it to release. If you're finding it difficult to find a stretch, you can also lift your hand above and hover it above the ground slightly like this and then find a spot. And once you've got your spot and it's starting to release, we're going to find another point. So move your fingertips about or move your hand about until you find another spot. And then when you're ready with your left hand, you're going to guide your head back to centre and we're going to do the same on the other side. So this time the left hand comes out to the side of your hip and you're going to drop your head to the right, moving around the fingertips or hovering the hand to find a tight spot, to find the stretch. And just holding there, breathing into the stretch to release any tension. And when you've found that and it's starting to ease up, we're going to find another spot. So move your fingertips about, move your hand about, find another icky point. You can take as long as you need here. And then when you're ready, bringing your right hand to your face to guide your head back up. Okay, so that was a really simple one. I always find this super effective. I always feel such a stretch all the way down my arm. And now we're just going to do some shoulder rolls to really warm up the shoulders and start releasing. So I'm going to bring my fingertips onto my shoulders and just start making shoulder shrugs. And rolling the shoulders forwards and really trying to pull the shoulder blades apart when my elbows come forwards and squeezing them in together on the way up, so really big motions. And once you've done a couple, we're gonna rotate in the other direction. And again, trying to exaggerate the movements so you really get into the shoulder blades. Um, okay, so the next exercise, it's cat-cow, but we're going to come into butterfly. But we're going to bring our feet, the soles of the feet are going to be touching, but they're out a little wider than you would usually have, so creating quite a lot of space here. We're going to bring our hands onto our knees. On the inhale, we're going to open the chest, looking up. And on the exhale, we're really going to pull the shoulder blades apart, rounding through the spine, pulling in the navel, and chin in towards the chest. Inhale, opening the chest, looking up, and exhale, rounding through the spine, really pulling the shoulder blades apart. Inhale, open the chest, and exhale, pulling back, and you really feel the shoulder blades separating here, chin in towards the chest. Two more, inhaling up, and exhale, round through the back. Now you can do this at your own pace, you don't have to follow my lead here. One more, inhaling up, and exhale, round through the spine. And then we're going to come back to centre, and we're going to make our way into tabletop position for the next exercise. 
So we did this kind of cat cow that we did in seated, and we're also going to do that in our table. So just a um, traditional cat cow. So on the inhale, dropping the belly towards the mat, opening the chest. And on the exhale, rounding through the spine. And again, we're pulling apart the shoulder blades, chin in towards the chest. Inhale and opening the chest. And exhale, rounding through the back. Do one more. Inhale, open the chest. Look up and exhale, rounding through the back, chin in towards the chest. And then coming back to a neutral position. Now we're going to thread the needle, which is also great for tight shoulders. So on the inhale, raise your right arm up to the sky. And on the exhale, we're going to thread it through. The right side of the head is going to come onto the mat here. And we're going to support using the left hand. Okay? If this is, if you don't feel enough of a stretch here on your shoulders, and you want to go into the pose deeper, you can lift your left arm up to the sky and then fold it behind your back. See if you can grab a hold of your thigh, of your hip or anything, any material. And if this still isn't enough for you, you can come onto the um, toes of the left leg and extend it. So you're really getting into the twist here. And we're going to hold it here for a few breaths. Really breathe into any tight areas. And when you're ready, we're going to drop the knee, bring the arm back up, and press the left palm into the mat so you can come back into your tabletop. We're going to do the same on the other side. So inhale, left arm lifts, and on the exhale, we're going to thread it through. The left side of the face comes to the mat. And again, if this is too easy for you, you can extend the right arm up to the sky and then grab a hold of your thigh or any other material. And you might want to come onto the toes of the right leg and extend it out. Hold it for a few more breaths, and when you're ready, we're going to come back down, extending the right arm back up, and pressing into the mat so we can meet back in the table. And from here, we're just going to take a few breaths in child pose. So just um, widen the knees, come sit back on your heels, and then we can just rest our head on the mat with the arms extended in front of us. Deepen the breath here. And from our child's pose, we're going to slowly push our weight into our hands and just come onto our bellies and then bring the hands underneath the shoulders here. What we're going to do is we're going to come into one of my favorite shoulder stretches. This feels so, so good. We're going to extend, we're going to start with the left hand this time, extending the left arm out to the side. So as if you're coming into a T, making sure the arm is in line with the shoulder. We're going to bring, leave the right hand where it is underneath your shoulder. And then we're going to roll onto the left hip here, starting to open up the shoulder, pushing into your right hand. And your head can just rest on the side of your face on the mat. And then you can stay here, or if you want a deeper stretch, bring the right leg up and over, stepping onto the foot to really roll open the shoulder here. And just breathe into it, feeling the stretch all the way in the shoulder. This is such a good twist, it feels so nice. And just relax here. And when you're ready, we're going to roll back to center and we're going to do the same on the other side. So bring both hands underneath the shoulders once again. The right arm extends this time 
and we're going to roll onto the right hip, bringing the left leg up and over, stepping onto the foot, really rolling open the shoulder here. And push, you can push into your left hand for support. And again, breathing steadily and slowly, breathing into any areas of tension. Center, bring both hands underneath the shoulders and we're just going to push up so we can sit back on our heels here for the last exercise for your shoulders, your neck release. Okay, for this we're going to come into eagle arms which is amazing for separating the shoulder blades. So I'm going to show you what to do. We're going to start with the right arm on top. So bring both hands out in front of you, right arm on top and then you can hug your shoulders here for a little bit, give them some love and then bring the backs of the hands towards each other and then see if you can cross them over and hold onto your palm or your thumb in some way like this, like this. Okay, from here we're going to start and try to move the arms away. Okay, so if they're close to you, trying to move them away to really feel the stretch in the shoulder blades here. And just breathe into it. Don't let the shoulders rise up, we want them to be nice and low and for you to separate them by pulling your arms away from your head. And here you can also drop your neck um, and your chin in towards the chest. Coming back into center, releasing the arms, give it a little shake and we're going to do the same on the other side. So this time, hands in front and instead of bringing the right arm on top, we're going to bring the left arm on top. Give your shoulders a little hug here and then moving the backs of the hands towards each other. Grab a hold of the palm if you can, of the fingers, anything. And then again, start moving the hands away from your face and that feels so good on my shoulder blades, they are pulling apart, I can really feel it. And from here once again if you want to, you can drop the neck for a more intense stretch here. And really breathe into any tension you're still feeling here, it's a very intense stretch especially with the arms pulled away. And then coming back to center. Thank you for watching. I hope I helped release some of that tension in your neck and your shoulders. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.